Okay. Hi, I'm Michael Redman, uh, and we're going to look at how to use the ophthalmoscope, a device for looking in the eye. Now, the ophthalmoscope has a focus dial, and you want your finger on that. You want to turn on the ophthalmoscope, because otherwise you can't see anything, and you would shine it against your hand to make sure it's on. There are various settings. You want to use the one that will give you the minimum stimulus, because that will leave the pupil open longer. Right. I'll put my hand up here, not to hold his eye open. You cannot do that. But to keep me from bumping into his head, uh, which I'm sure he would appreciate. If you look straight ahead at him, I go like so, with my finger right here on the ophthalmoscope, so that this finger can make, come in contact with my thumb, so I don't poke him in the eye. Now, I line up, and I shine the light until his pupil glows red, called the red reflex, and then move in. When I get to the proper distance, I focus, and if it wasn't quite as bright, I would see, there we go, the blood vessels and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, what I'm looking for <coughs> with the blood vessels is the blood vessels, if they have a lot of bims and kinks, that's an early indication of hypertension. Even if someone is on blood pressure medication and their blood pressure is normal, you'll still be able to see the traces of hypertension. The other th major thing you would look at is whether or not the blood vessels are uh, splayed or uh, what we call a bleb. And that indication uh, indicates that diabetes mellitus uh, is fairly well advanced. Okay? Usually the patient will know that, but not always. Okay. okay. Now, we're going to go to the other eye. To do that, I need to switch hands and step to the other side of the patient. Okay? Now, once again, I will hold my hand like so, have the patient look straight ahead, and find the red reflex. Then I move in rapidly, focus, and again. In most cases, you have about 30 seconds before the pupil starts to constrict and you can't see anything. That's why you're in a hurry to get in there. Now, if you're an ophthalmolog uh, ophthalmologist, you can put in drops that will dilate the pupil and so on and so forth, but <coughs> we don't have that luxury. So we need to be quick. And if the light conditions are lower, the pupil will stay open wider and it's easier to see. Okay? Uh, hope this was helpful.